Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NXT Hangover. I, as always, am your boy TJ, the former Mr. NXT of uh, the Jabberknocker. With me for the first time ever is going to be the new Mr. NXT of the Jabberknocker, Dom Feds. How you doing, Dom? I'm good, man. Thank you. Awesome. Well, it's good to have you. It's uh, it's a little different. You know, it's, I don't have a little bro with me this time. So, uh, yeah. you know, as, as everyone knows, uh, Danny's took a step, a step away from the Jabberknocker for a little while. So, uh, you know, we, we wish him as well in his future endeavors. But until he comes back, uh, me and Dom are going to hold the fort down over here for NXT. Um, Dom, how do you feel about the uh, show overall? Honestly, man, I, I was not I, w- I wasn't too impressed. I- I think it was a lap match that kind of felt flat for me. And I just, after that, it was, I don't know, it was kind of a dud. Like, I wasn't expecting much out of um, the second match that was uh, Ember Moon and Raquel. Because we all knew it was going to happen there. So, it was it was too ma- it was too match event for me, to be honest. Yeah, we'll get there. It was a ladder match in the main event. Uh, the tag we'll, match, too. But, we'll get yeah. there. We'll get there. Um, it, it wasn't... wasn't- and, you know, when it comes to NXT uh, takeovers, I almost say hangovers. When it comes to takeovers, usually they are a, uh, a home run every single time. This one might have been a double. Could you know triple <laughs> if, triple if you want to go you know stretch it. Yeah, a triple at best. But let's just jump right into the card. How about that? Um, so the first match was a six man tag, and I can feel Nestle like I can feel his spirit here going. Eh, it's a six man tag. It's gonna suck. How can you start? The, how can you start? No, it was great. Um, and then for those of you, you know, on Tuesday when the pod comes out, he's going to, you know, defend himself and be like, oh, yeah, I never would say something like that. No, he, uh, in our group chat, said that it was the best match of the night. So that's right. Nestle Media um, even said it was the best match of the night. Is that the first time that they've done something like that? And I don't remember uh, all titles being up in a six way like that, at I least in WWE. I can't remember them doing it in NXT. Um, I know that they've done it in the past in uh, – regular pay-per-view events but you know i mean yeah because they did it with um triple h and stone cold and uh the okay. two-man power trip okay. that was you know 20 plus years ago though so you know we i don't remember it. i didn't remember seeing that much so i thought it was I, it was new to me yeah i appreciated uh bronson reed rocking the earthquake attire and uh doing his best earthquake Absolutely. you know especially in the in your house pay-per-view that was nice uh there's a lot of storytelling going on in this match too which was fun you know a lot of, uh you know, we really have, this is probably the best Legato Del Fantasma has looked um, as a whole. I agree. Um, but overall, I enjoyed the match. Like, it was a lot of fun. It was definitely the match to pick to start the show off. 100%. Um, I thought that was a great lead match. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, the next match was uh, almost to the point where I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. Like, I couldn't even get into it. It was fucking awful. Yeah. You know, it's. I haven't been able to buy Zia Lee as a character at all. Like I've appreciated what I don't they've know, done. I don't but... know much about her at all. Yeah, other she was. That, they, they talked about her being in the May Young, but other than that, I was kind of like lost with it. Yeah, she was on. Um, she was in the May Young Classic. The I think she was in both of them, to be honest. And then she came in. She was doing her little karate dance, but I just, you know, I just couldn't buy it. And then finally, they kind of added this new character to her, and I appreciate it. Like, there's a lot of effort there, and it's definitely creepy, and it's got a look to it. But it other than that, it doesn't really have a whole lot. And Mercedes yeah, Martinez it is kind of... Out, it kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like we didn't know anything about it, and they just kind of hit us with it. It was like, all right, what are we supposed to do with that, you know? Yeah, and Mercedes Martinez is kind of, you know, she's been like a jobber to the stars. She goes out there, she'll job to... such, like, a good-sized girl, man. Like, her and Raquel could have gaps, and they're just falling flat with her. Yeah, well, well, we'll see what they do with her moving forward. But I wasn't really a big fan of what happened. And after the match, the little, you know, the chair shots and everything, I could, I could do yeah, without it. Yeah, I just, saw that on Twitter as well. Yeah, I think in, in the words of Nestlemania, it was a wet fart. Oh boy. Yeah, that'd be my son crying in the background. Um, so moving on, we got the ladder match, which was a, uh, it was a fun match. I enjoyed it. It wasn't it was. really. It was a ladder match, so I mean, you know what you're expecting going into I it. I was surprised to see these two guys in a ladder match in their first big NXT match, I think. That was my issue. with Like, I love both these guys, but neither one are really the best workers, and to throw them into a ladder match right off the rip in such a big – like, this, this could have got moved. I feel like we could have to go one-on-one and then moved on to this. Yeah, I agree with that. I can you know completely I mean? agree because it definitely would have been a, a payoff match, like especially because you have uh, the Great American Bash coming up in I was a couple just gonna, weeks. I was gonna say they announced 
Great American Bash in July, we could have moved that there. Because I feel like this title is going to move back and forth between them throughout the summer or something. Like, I feel like they're so polar opposites that once they get a hold of these titles, there's going to be so much fun vignettes and things they're going to do with them and stupid shit that they're going to come up with. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, because the the million dollar belt never was really much more than a prop in the first place. So yep. I mean, like now, if it's actually a title, it could actually mean something. So we'll see where they go with that. You think Ted's gonna be a part? Like, do you think he's gonna be in Drake's corner, or he's just gonna? I think he's kind of done. He might make an appearance here and there, but I don't see it being anything else. Um, the next match uh, was the women's championship match. Um, I was absolutely loving the griminess of uh, Dakota Kai, like at ringside. I haven't she been. Was I haven't, she was putting a lot of work. Yeah, I haven't been able to keep up with NXT as much now that I work on Tuesday nights. But uh, I was appreciating the uh, how she's she was at ringside, you know, basically helping her win the entire time. Um, there was that, um, and then Ember Moon. She had she had me fooled a couple times. What's that? Ember had me fooled a couple times. I thought she might actually win the match, but uh, uh, man, I don't know what they're doing with her. At one point, we were saying this in the group chat. At one point, she was she was skyrocketing, man. She was yeah. like an Oscar almost, you know. Yeah, it's and like she got hurt. Oscar, what they're doing in NXT is what they're doing at Oscar on the main on the main roster. Like they're just taking these girls that were right there about to explode, and now she's jogging out left and right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, she's still a top, she's definitely a top-notch star when it comes to NXT. So we'll see where she goes from there. Um, I mean, it was nice to see her in a big, in a big spot, have a singles match, and she was definitely the first, the best one to pair with Raquel for her first takeover. I agree. All right, you ready to jump into that main event? Uh yeah, absolutely, man. There, there was, a, there was a lot going on there, and I don't know. I wasn't expecting Cross to win. I'll tell you that much, man. I, I'm not huge on him. Everything Cole said. In that promo to Cross was everything I've been saying for a long time since he before the injury, before he even before when he first stepped on the scene. I didn't know much about him, and he came out and I'm like, I don't get this kid. Like I just don't get it. And then Cole hits him with that promo. Everyone kind of ragged on him. And I'm like, okay, bring that, bring that package up to the main roster where it belongs. A lot of times yeah. with NXT, from what I've been watching, is these guys go up to the main roster and they just fall apart and. It doesn't work. I feel like Cross would be a guy that could go up there and actually make an impact. If for some reason, for me, he's not working on NXT. But yeah, he, he he's definitely like he doesn't fit the mold. Um, he's definitely. Right. You know, I mean, he's a big guy. He's big. He's strong. He he's, got, big, he's, big he's got a lot I'm, of character I'm to curious him. Curious how big he is in real life. I don't think he's as big as they want you to believe on television. He um. I mean, granted, I've never met him was, in person, so I don't know. In Impact, he was he looked pretty big, but okay. um, that was I mean, it was also Impact, so then right, they never exactly. had the biggest guys either. Uh-huh. And, right. Um, I enjoyed the match though. I mean, of course, I'm a honk for all those guys in the match. There's a couple times in the match too that I really liked. Um, that Cross kind of took the back burner. He got knocked out, and then the four guys, you know, beat the shit out of each other, which was the right move. Keep him out of that. Yeah, because he he can't hold his he can't hold his own in their style matches. So I mean, it made a lot and the of double split of suplex was fucking awesome. I love that. Yep. And you know, yeah, when it came down to kicking ass, he did he did he looked good. But I mean, where do they go from here, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he just took out all of the top contenders for the title. It, so. it didn't seem like they leveled anyone up, or no one really came out. You know what I mean? They didn't set anyone up. Like they didn't level it up at all. It's just everyone's kind of in the same spot that they were. When the match started, yeah, I think Dunn and Gargano are gonna go at it a little bit. Maybe that happens, but other than that, I mean, we're gonna get Kyle, and then we we'll get Kyle and Cole, and I don't know what's up across. Yeah, I mean, and it's in my eyes, they just knocked out four contenders right out of the bat. Like they you used them, it was cool, but now like who's next for Cross? Like who's gonna right. take that title from him, or who's gonna be the next person to challenge for the title? Unless so. they get a surprise coming our way, but I haven't mm-hmm. heard. Anything. They could. I mean, who knows? I mean, I keep hearing Samoa Joe come be back to NXT, so that would be a nice little surprise. I wouldn't hate um, that. And yeah. then now we go to the ending. So after the match, you know, you you know, NXT teases us, and they always tell like have something after the credits. And this right. time it was a little shock. Uh, William Regal said he was uh, disheartened by all the like tomfoolery and fighting and going right. on, and yep. that there was time for a change. What are your thoughts on William Regal possibly stepping down from the NXT I general manager? As a storyline, like, 
he's a smart guy. Obviously, you saw this coming. Why, why were you so shocked? So, like, I didn't even know how to react to that. Like, you know what I mean? You knew, you knew it was coming. You set all this up, and then you're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm all set. Like, I'm good. I'm going to walk away from this mess I just created. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I have no idea where they go from that from there with him. Yeah, I mean, they, they showed Regal, like, it looked like he had tears coming from his eye. Yeah, I was like, what really is going sad. on? Unless something else was going on, and I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he, but he's been the uh, NXT general manager since the beginning, so it'll be really interesting to see if they go with a different general manager or if they go a different direction or what they're going to do. Um, right. Uh, what was your favorite match of the night? Uh, it was probably, it was honestly, probably uh, the tag team match. Ooh. I was gonna say the main. I was gonna say the main event, but the tag team match was definitely was definitely it. Yeah, it was definitely. So you didn't have any expectations leading into it. It did like you knew what you were gonna get, and they gave it to you right away. Yeah, so everything else kind of had to follow, and it and everything else fell flat because of it. So they were in the best spot. They had the best match. Everyone came out on top. Like you said, no one got hurt. Right, Fantasma looks great. Um, Escobar, man, obviously he's Andrade's uh, replacement. It looks like, right? Like that's yeah. where they're going with this kid. He looks like a star. He looks like more of a star out of his suit in the ring than Andrade does. Yeah. So that was one thing that I liked about him. I was like, wow, I seen him in the ring. I was like, like Andrade, he's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But when he gets in the ring, you're like, ah, it doesn't really look like a physical fit specimen. This dude looks like he gets in the ring, he can fucking go. So I like that about him and his guys behind him were really good too. So they showcased yeah. them tonight. I think MSK is awesome. I've been following them since impact. And uh, I didn't actually, I didn't like them as the rascals when they signed with the NXT. I was like, this kid suck. And when they didn't take Trey with them, I was like, well, that's, that's the whole show right there is Trey Miguel from everything I had saw watching yeah. impact. And then they came out of nowhere and they, you know, like the matching gear and they come on, and they look good and they kind of drop the fuck, the weed gimmick, whatever they were doing. And it was good to go. And I was like, wow. And they look good with titles. I think they're in for a big run. But yeah. NXT tag teams need to stay in NXT because as we've learned, nobody. If American Alpha ain't making it on the main roster, and they tearing shit down and Revival ain't doing it on the main roster, then MSK ain't going to do it either. So they need to stay in NXT for the rest of their lives. Or else they're going to get called up and they're going to get screwed like everyone else. I love tag team wrestling, man. Yeah, tag, tag teams so, and women just need to stay in NXT. because Exactly, 100%. And even so just I thinking, hope that I hope that for a MSK that they just stay down there, run the gauntlet, and don't even think about the main roster, man. Don't even think about it because you're gonna yeah. get in trouble. Yeah, that was definitely. We're gonna, with Riddle, we're gonna put it with Riddle and have a uh, play jokes all day. Great, but what's that gonna do for him? No, it'll okay. do nothing. Right. Um, that, those two were my favorite matches of the night too. It was like a pay per view <laughs> sandwich with the best matches being the first and the last. I agree. Um, 100%. So for the sake of you know being different, I'll say the my favorite match was the uh, the five way match just because there was a lot going on with it. There, there was, was a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love that shit. Like you give me all that, uh, I'm good with it. 100. Yeah, I I like multi person matches. Like maybe it's just the video game player in me because I used to like playing those in Robert SmackDown. It, but you should, though, I mean, like, you got, get, like it works, man. You, you if get, you're gonna be a multi man match, it better be those guys you put in that ring tonight. Minus cross. Yeah, you get things <laughs> intertwining. You get like you get Gargano there was, there was a lot of history, man. There was a lot of history in that match, and I wanted to go back and watch it, but I, I, Peacock sucks. So, but yeah, there was a lot going on. Even with Pete, Pete Dunn was entangled with you, you know, um, UE way back in the day, like them and Roddy. That's yeah. how Roddy ends up there, you know. So yeah. even there that was, was pretty rich in history, which was nice. Yeah, there was so much intertwined that was really cool. And then like each little tiny little feud that was going on back and forth. And then like I marked out once once Cross was out. Like I mean, and I like carrying Cross. Like I'm not a hater on him by any means. Yeah, I, I probably need to tone it down a little bit. I don't like. I don't like disrespect and tell i can't do it right i can't step in between ropes so i'm no one to say anything was just sometimes man some people rubbing the wrong way but you're right yeah he's not bad for what he does yeah i just don't think I mean, it was a lot quick for him that might have been what turned me off with carrying cross yeah. like it was like he walked in it was like here you go boom and then he gets hurt and he comes back i'm like no way they do this again and then they do it again and i was like oh yeah. shit they really like you you saw the roster tonight you saw these guys in the ring and that's who you hand the title to just like that. Like, oh, and you have to, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but. no, there was definitely, I mean, but, you know, I think the biggest question mark is like we said earlier is who, what's next for cross. So, that yeah. will, you know, we'll have to see coming up because, you know, there's another show coming up pretty quick with the great. American Bash, so. That just got announced tonight. That wasn't on the, that wasn't anywhere. Right. That wasn't no. on the radar at all. That was like an announcement tonight. Nope. Um, but 
So yeah, no, that was, and that was it. And like I said, I'm very surprised with the whole Regal thing. So I'm very intrigued. So I'm gonna have to read your articles coming up to see what happens because yeah. very intrigued as what's gonna happen. Uh, and I think we can both agree the worst match was Zaylee and Martinez. What's that? The worst match was Zaylee and Martinez. I think we can all yeah. agree. Um, yeah, 100%. Uh, Martinez, uh, sorry, uh, Gonzalez. You would think Martinez is next up from a Gonzalez, but it, it might be um, Ty Valkyrie. What's her name now? Um, oh, uh, God. Frankie, Frankie Monet. Frankie Monet. I feel like Frankie's going to quickly move into that main event spot, would be my guess. That would be a good one. I would be happy with that the way one. way they're producing her, man, it seems to me that she's she's next woman up. Well, and she's definitely on the older spectrum when it comes to the NXT women because she's been around for a while. She started late, too. So, okay, um, yeah. Other than watching her in NXT, like I said, about what, three, four months ago, I didn't know anything about her. And then she yeah. moved over. I'm sorry, in Impact. No, and then she moved to NXT. And I'm like, that's that's a perfect fit for someone like that. She was in Lucha Underground. That's where I first saw her. She was with uh, Johnny, Ni- or Johnny right. whatever it is, and Johnny Mundo, Johnny Nitro, yeah. Johnny you know, Morrison, whatever we want to call him today. Um, by the way, I know my boy Aaron Turner is a big Ty Valkyrie fan. I was not hating by calling her old. I promise. I promise. <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't even know her age. But why? She's she's a uh, she's in her mid thirties. She's like a, just from the NXT a spectrum. Bet, she's, she's a veteran. Older. She's a veteran. Yeah, that's a good word for her. But cool. I love her, man. I think she's um. This is there's a strong possibility you're gonna see her have a nice little run. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. You know, it was a little awkward seeing the. The little dog promos that led up to her. But. Yeah, it was a complete 180 from everything we had seen from her previously. So I understand that too. But she's doing and the, like you could see how uncomfortable she was the first time she stepped in the ring with that package. And like she still did pretty well with it. And then they pulled her out of the ring and everything was backstage until they knew, okay, now she's comfortable. That's how I felt yeah. watching her progress from the time she got there to where she is now. And it wasn't long on TV, maybe three, four weeks stops. Yeah. So she, she caught on pretty quick, which is a good sign for her. So this was the first wrestling I've watched since WrestleMania. So this is a little awkward for me. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, no, it's been a while. It's been between work and everything, but uh, it was definitely a good show to watch. Okay. Um, and I think now it's time to socialize the pod. So, of course, you can get the main podcast on is Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Stitcher, or ooh, Anchor. Oh, I got an old list. Crap. Oh, well, you know where to find the podcast. And on the podcast, you can find the link to all the Twitter handles. You follow us and you'll see it retweeted (laughs) constantly throughout the day, all day long, between me, him, and everyone else on the job and ARCA staff. And I'm going to take take the JC way out and say on the podcast, you can find all the Twitter handles. (laughs) There's there's so many of us now. It's ridiculous. There's a ton of us in there, I think. Yeah, we're getting up there. Um, Other than that, did you have anything else you want to add, Dom? Uh, no, honestly, man, that's it. Like I said, this is my first time doing anything like this, so I appreciate you letting me be a part of it, and uh, I can't wait for the next one. Great yeah, American. After, after, Great talking, American oh. after talking to you, my Boston accent is going to start coming back. My wife. I know. I'm sorry. Me. I'll try to it down. I get excited. <laughs> when I get excited about wrestling and I start talking, I'm sorry. You can even once give I, me the once I, break a bit. <laughs> once I start talking to people from home, you know. You know so you're down a, in Florida, right? I am a yeah. Florida boy, so it's been a rainy Florida afternoon or evening down here tonight. In fact, I was a little concerned because we had a thunderstorm and I thought we were going to lose power and I was going to have to cancel on you, but we made it. Well, I'm glad we, uh, I'm glad we got through it. I, uh, I can't well, wait for Grand Bash, man. And we'll Dom, be in it was a pleasure having you on the, on the show and hopefully the next time around we'll have it again and it'll be even better. Um, until then, he is Dommy Feds. I am TJ and we'll see you next time.